Hello, my name is Ronan Bean and today I would like to introduce you to Project Porcupine, which is, um, I would say, custom um, thread pool managing library for Java 7. And um, I would like to start, as usual, with the simplistic uh, Maven project, the essentials. And I'll call it Pork. Um, the project is called Porcupine and um, is stored in Sonotype, so we can just reference it. And to do so, I will just specify a dependency. And the dependency, of course, we are searching for Porcupine. This is this one, and I would like to use this. And um, usually you would like to use the AIX group ID. So this is all you have to do to install this. And first, I would like to start with the bin.xml. Uh, and then create a JAXRS configuration. I think it is um, the easiest to show you is JAXRS because you can also expose statistics using um, JSON um, over JSON or XML. And uh, so GSF, of course, would also work or whatever. You could use it in timers whenever you, uh, whenever you like. Application path is as resources and it has to extend the application from RS and uh, this is this one from RESTful services and now start with the content. Um, I would start with the statistics resource and the statistics resource just exposes the thread pool statistics and um, so uh, the path is going to be uh, statist statistics um, and what you can do, you can lazily inject an instance of statistics, and these are the statistics and statistics. So this is all you have to do. We have to import a bunch of stuff, the statistics, and I think I uh, would like to expose it as well statistics and uh, now you can say statistics get now the dependency gets fetched or resolved and get is just sufficient and now it is available um, via JSON or XML so this is just basic pool statistics but now let's declare a custom thread pool so um, porks resource and the package is going to be uh, AIX. Doesn't matter this time. And the path is, of course, Porks. Porks. And just make it stateless. And now I can say inject dedicated executor service. Now, executor service, um, let's fast pork. <laughs> so the executor service is ordinary Java 8 or, or even Java 6 um, executor service and so thread pool. And what dedicated means, um, you can, this is the qualifier. And if you don't specify anything, the uh, name of the thread pool becomes available under the name fast pork. So, and what I would like to do, just create a very simple uh, uh, REST web service. And I would like to say, suspended async response 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 and here we can say um, for instance completable future completable future um, supply async and what I would like to supply is um, the parks <laughs> so now supply the parks and this could be uh, Duke, Duke and Duke Java and say then um, and then say uh, supply async and then accept response um, resume and um, to use the pool we have to specify it as a first parameter. So otherwise there would be no effect actually. 
and um, should actually accept the first parameter the supply async the second parameter sorry fast park now let's go to what it actually means right now is um, this uh, method will um, will uh, return immediately so there will be no blocking threads and we are managing our own threads now imagine this would be an incredible uh, expensive operation so it will be executed in our thread pool and our thread pool is fully configurable and also monitorable so now let's see whether it actually works i would just to run it on glassfish and actually tested this on payara and on whitefly so i would like to run it and now the application server starts the database starts and uh, the application is going to be uh, deployed so it, it will take a few seconds because uh, it's a cold start Actually forgot to uh, pre-start the application server so you have to wait a little bit and um, so resources I think porks so you can see Duke Java seems to works and statistics statistics you see the statistics um, so there is completed task count two tasks are completed and executed and the largest thread pool size was two and the current set pool size is um, also two and the maximum pool size is 48 and uh, remaining queue capacity is 100 so nothing happens in the system and uh, what we uh, also can specify rejected execution handler so what happens in case you know the uh, thread pool is overloaded we can receive events and um, yeah um, we discussed this thread pool in depth in the um, in the um, in the uh, microservices workshops at um, uh, in Munich Airport at Airhacks, and this is the project Porcupine. It is actually used also in um, Hellsockets. There was another idea during the workshop. What Hellsocket is is a load generator for WebSockets. So it uses internally Porcupine, so we get statistics to you know how many threads and tasks are executed. And um, thank you for watching, and see you in upcoming workshops. Um, probably the first. Monday of the month at ehex TV and yes yeah, you um, in um, Java land so thank you for watching and bye